All right, today I wanted to cover how to physically connect your hardware synths in Reaper, get them communicating properly. And we're gonna cover MIDI and audio. I had a couple subscribers ask me about this, so I figured I'd make a video. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna do this with my Minotaur, just so you can get an idea. I'm gonna flip it around. That way you guys can see the IO on the back. First thing we're gonna wanna do is connect the power. Okay, so that's good. We got some power now. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is connect the MIDI cable. So I'm using USB, so I'm gonna be using this port right here. If you have five pin MIDI cable, you can use this. Okay, next we wanna just use a regular instrument cable and we're gonna connect to the out on the synth because the out on the synth is gonna go to the in on the interface. Okay, and then for me, I have one more step. Since this is just the module, I don't have a keyboard hooked up to it. So I'm gonna use this keyboard here by just using an external MIDI cable in this port here that we talked about earlier. Okay, so that's everything there on the back. Now all we need to do is just jump to the back of the interface and I can kind of show you what it looks like back there. All right, so this is the back of my interface now. I have a PreSonus Quantum. On the right side here are all of my ins on the left side are gonna be my outs. We're looking for the ins. So what I wanna do is take my instrument cable from the Minotaur and I'm gonna plug that in to any one of my open available ins on the back here. All right, so just remember, we're gonna hook the instrument cable from the out on the synth to the in here on the interface. That should get you where you need to be. All right, so now that we got everything hooked up properly on the synth and the interface, let's jump into Reaper and make sure we got everything connected in there. First thing we wanna do is open up preferences. So you can either go through the preferences menu at the top or I just like to use the shortcut, which is command and then the comma. That's gonna bring up this menu. And then if you're not already on this MIDI devices setting here, just find audio. So scroll around, find audio, click on MIDI devices. And because we hooked our synth up through the USB MIDI, we should see this popping up in here. So I have a bunch of stuff in here. So let's scroll down and then you would find, so here's the Minotaur. And initially, I already had this hooked up, but initially it's probably gonna say disabled. So what you wanna do is double click this and it's gonna bring up this menu here. Leave the device name the same, but if you want, you can give an alias name. I, so I just shortened it and chose Minotaur. You don't have to do that, but I like to. That way you don't have about three feet long worth of info when you're pulling up your MIDI devices later. So that's good. Okay, then all you wanna do here is just check enable input from this device, that's it. Then just hit okay, that'll close out. And then for good measure, I just like to do the same thing on the output side down here. So we're gonna find Minotaur again, double click. And then again, I just, chose that same alias name, but otherwise everything else is the same here. Then we're gonna enable the output from this device. Hit okay. Now we should be good. So from here, all we wanna do is apply, hit okay. That's gonna auto close it. Then let's come over here to the track control panel, double click, create a new track, expand it, arm it for record. So that way we can come in here and choose the input from MIDI. And now your device should pop up in here. So here's my Minotaur, and I'm just gonna choose all channels, and now we should be set. That's it, that's all you gotta do. All right, now you got everything hooked up and ready to go. If you have any questions or troubles with getting the actual sound in and out of Reaper and coming out of the speakers, check out this video here, because I did a in-depth tutorial on that too, so that kind of walks you through that whole process. Hopefully you found this useful, and let me know what you wanna see in the future. See you guys.